It's been eight months since the Reese family was in a tragic accident just off the Kiskatna River Bridge. Ashlyn, who was 17, and Asia, who was 10, died instantly on the scene. Carrie Reese was also in the vehicle with her son, Dalen, and her youngest daughter, Ainsley. Ainsley suffered traumatic brain injuries and had to be airlifted to the Vancouver Children's Hospital. She was unconscious, not awake. Um, that night she got there, they told my mom she would be lucky to if she made the night at that point. Ainsley was in a coma for a few days and had several lesions on her brain, as well as a fractured orbital bone. Over the coming days, in the great care of the hospital staff, Ainsley was on the road to recovery. They impacted her life so much, she decided to give back to the hospital. And she said to me, her words exactly were, Mom, I was treated so well at the hospital, I want to raise, or at, yeah, at the children's hospital, so I would like to raise money so other kids can get treated as well. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really scary because I wasn't sure what was going to happen to me, but, um. Are you happy that they took such good care of you? Yeah. Yeah. Broken bones have healed and bruises have vanished, but Ainsley's brain injury will be a part of her life forever. In dealing with this traumatic event and the devastating loss of her sister and cousin, Ainsley decided that the money she raised will be donated to the hospital in loving memory of her fallen family members. Without them doctors, I don't think, from what they have told us, that she would be here today. I asked Ainsley how the doctors decided she could go home soon. My, when my doctor came to talk to me in my hospital, he, he was like, do you know where you are? And I said, I, I know where I am. And, and, and I said, if you don't know where you are, you're lost. Yeah, and what did he say? <laughs> You don't need me anymore. Yeah. Keep an eye out for Ainsley around Dawson Creek over the next few weeks. She will be selling pop and homemade bracelets to raise money for the Vancouver Children's Hospital. There we go. Randy Marie Adams, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.